Welcome back, kids. We're discussing the economic impact of the China coronavirus and the associated government shutdowns. We're now joined by Wall Street speculator Bill Spetrino and Mark Mix, president of the National Right to Work Committee. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Good to be with you. All right, Bill. Yep, Bill, we're going to start with you. Um, let me, Bill, let me just ask you a real quick question on that, because this, this bear is pointing out that the Fed is providing this liquidity, but their loans, we got to pay that back. So if they're doing three to seven trillion dollars of liquidity on top of the three trillion dollars Congress has already spent and the three trillion dollars that Nancy Pelosi wants to spend, we're talking about what? At bare minimum, nine to ten trillion dollars of spending we have no way of paying for? Well, when you're an investor, you have to look for earnings and companies that aren't going to be disturbed by this. One of my biggest positions is Viacom CBS. Well, Pluto Television, which a lot of people that are out here on my bio forum and my subscribers are watching this on, you know, is a CBS product. And in, it's with this shutdown, it's done better. Or El Trio, which sells cigarettes and the vaping. People that would be normally working all day, they're not working, you know, and they're, they're smoking and vaping more. So you just have to pick your spots when you're doing this. There will be businesses that will suffer, but long term we got to get back to work you know 30 counties accounted for yep. you know half the cases and 57 percent of the dust the other people should be getting back to work mark let's uh, pick up the conversation with you as i mentioned with bill at three trillion dollars from nancy pelosi it's a basically a socialist wish list and much of that bill is unrelated to the china virus uh, that's not what the american people need right now from a from a bill like this what do they need yeah, that's right, Chris. Uh, Speaker Pelosi has said she was going to go big, and go big is what she did. Three trillion dollars of uh, basically papering over years and years and years of basically states being unresponsible, irresponsible, if you will, about how they run not only their governments day to day, but their pension and retirement programs. And as you mentioned, Chris, about a trillion dollars of this bill that's going to be voted on tomorrow, we understand, 1,800 pages being voted on tomorrow, $3 trillion. A trillion dollars goes to paper over promises that union officials and politicians made over the years on deals they knew they could never fulfill on pensions and operating requirements of governments. And so states like Illinois, California, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, they're going to try to paper over all of this mismanagement over the years because of union monopoly bargaining and union control over many of these legislatures, and they're going to try to make the American taxpayer bail it out. It's not going to be pretty, that's for sure. Yeah, in the meantime, and, and Mark, we'll stay with you. In the meantime, you've got these, these Democrat governors out there, these socialist governors who are demonizing the people, their crimes are wanting to go back to, they want to go back to work. You've got Maxine Waters out there saying that she doesn't want these businesses to open up. She out and out said it. You've got Governor Whitmer who is putting herself against her own people and she's accusing her own people of being racist and misogynist if they <sighs> dare oppose her. And, and, and those stories are playing out in left-wing state capitals all over this country. What do you make of that? Yeah, well, it's not a surprise. I mean, I think there's a lot of pent-up energy here. People need to get back to work. I think it was Fed Powell Chairman or Powell, or Fed Chairman Powell, that said one out of every four Americans who makes under forty thousand dollars a year is out of work. That's crazy, and people mm -hmm. need to pay their rent. They need to feed their families. But you know, one thing that's happening, Chris, is very interesting. You see some of these big liberal state governors, like Tim Walz, the the governor of Minnesota, who has issued an executive order saying he's going to basically rescind union monopoly power over fifty thousand state employees because he needs to run his state. He needs to be able to make decisions to fiscally prepare for what's coming, and and that is more serious, really, than anything else we're looking at, and that is the economies of these states and how in the world are they going to pay for these promises they made that they now never can keep with these government employees. Yeah, I hadn't heard that one. A, a Democrat uh, dismantling union bargains, that's, that's pretty amazing. Bill, Mark, thank you, guys. Appreciate the time here on the Salcedo Show.